It's been a crazy few weeks for the AI industry. First, it was Google's Gemini. Then, just weeks ago, OpenAI shocked the world with a state-of-the-art text-to-video tool, Sora. And now, Google has done it again. Meet Google Genie, the latest AI creation that's turning the industry on its head. Quickly, in the next few minutes, I will reveal the big deal about Genie and why it could be a big step towards AGI. Trust me, the Genie is well and truly out of the bottle to shake things up. So, what is Genie? Genie stands for Generative Interactive Environments, an AI that was born from Google DeepMind, which has been trained with over 200,000 hours of 2D public internet gaming videos to generate playable video games from text prompts or images. Yes, you heard that right. With Genie, you could just throw in a single image and Genie will create an entirely new, playable virtual environment. With a whopping 11 billion parameters, it's like having a virtual universe at your fingertips. Genie's impressive performance is due to its use of cutting-edge technology. The Variational Quantum VAE VQVAE model and the Spatial Temporal Transformer ST Transformer architecture allow the model to balance efficiency and capacity. This is important for working with complex video data. The result is a realistic and engaging virtual world. The possibilities for generating and exploring virtual worlds are endless. Imagine taking a text-to-image generation model like Dolly 2 and using it to create starting frames for a virtual world that Genie can then breathe life into. This means that a lot of people will finally get the chance to bring their imagination into reality. This breakthrough opens up a world of possibilities for game developers. Gone are the days spending countless hours coding every aspect of a game from scratch. With Genie, creating games with complex controls and immersive environments becomes a breeze. And the best part? It levels the playing field, giving aspiring game creators a chance to shine alongside industry giants. But wait, there's more! Genie isn't just limited to games. It has the potential to revolutionize virtual reality as we know it. Picture this, instant virtual worlds that look and feel so real that you'll have to pinch yourself to make sure you're not dreaming. The potential educational applications of Genie are far-reaching. It could be used to create dynamic, interactive learning environments that engage students and make learning more fun. In addition, it could also be applied to research, particularly in the field of AI. As a foundational world model, it could be used to train generalist agents who can handle a variety of tasks. And here's the cherry on top. Genie can work its magic with any kind of drawing. Whether it's a masterpiece crafted by a seasoned artist using fancy tools like Adobe Illustrator, or a doodle doodled by a kid with a crayon, Genie can bring it to life in ways you never thought possible. Now that you know what Genie is and what it can do, I know you would also love to know how it pulls this enchanting feat. Well, it's all about training. Genie undergoes rigorous sessions to learn various actions that dictate how characters move and behave in virtual realms. These actions cover everything from basic movements like walking to more exciting stuff like jumping and tinkering with objects. But here's where the real wizardry happens. Genie isn't just mimicking movements blindly, it's understanding them. Each action it learns represents a meaningful behavior. So when you see a character strolling through a scene, Genie knows how to bring that to life in the game it creates. And Genie isn't just a one-trick pony, it's super adaptable too. It can spot patterns and differences in images, ensuring that the gameplay it produces feels rich and varied. Whether your character is trekking across different landscapes, interacting with all sorts of objects, or facing obstacles, Genie's got it covered. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into Genie's bag of tricks. One of its key skills is understanding context. It doesn't just see a bunch of pixels, it sees a story waiting to unfold. So, when it looks at an image, it's not just thinking about what's there, but also what could happen next. This helps Genie create gameplay that feels natural and immersive, like you're part of the action. Now wait till you hear the next feature. Do you know that Genie is also a pro at improvisation? Like, it can think on its feet and come up with creative solutions on the fly. So, if something unexpected happens in the game, Genie won't skip a beat. It'll adapt and keep the adventure going, making sure you're always on the edge of your seat. What could be more amazing? And let's not forget about Genie's attention to detail. 
It's like the ultimate perfectionist, making sure every little aspect of the game is just right. From the way characters move to the way objects interact with each other, Genie sweats the small stuff so you can enjoy a seamless and polished experience every time you play. So what makes Genie different from others? The answer to this question is obvious. Genie's training method, especially, stands out from traditional supervised approaches, particularly when compared to Sora and Runaway AI. While Sora and Runaway AI rely heavily on labeled data and explicit action labels provided by humans to learn and perform tasks, Genie takes a different approach. It utilizes unsupervised learning, learning from vast amounts of unlabeled internet videos without needing explicit action labels. To put it simply, imagine teaching a child to recognize objects. Traditional supervised learning would involve showing the child a picture of an object, like an apple, and explicitly telling them, this is an apple. However, Genie's approach is more like allowing the child to explore a room filled with various fruits without any prior labeling. Through observation and interaction, the child eventually learns to distinguish between different fruits on their own, without needing someone to label each item for them. Now let's compare this with Sora and Runaway AI. Sora and Runaway AI would require someone to provide labeled examples of each fruit to train their models effectively. They rely heavily on human input to guide their learning processes. While this can produce accurate results within the specific context of the provided labels, it can be time-consuming and impractical when dealing with vast amounts of data or when trying to generalize to new, unseen situations. On the other hand, Genie's unsupervised learning method offers several benefits. Firstly, it allows for scalability and adaptability, since Genie can autonomously learn from a wide range of unlabeled data without the need for human-provided labels. This means Genie can continuously improve and adapt to new tasks and environments without requiring additional human intervention. Secondly, Genie's approach demonstrates the potential for AI to learn and transfer knowledge across different domains and environments. By learning from diverse and unlabeled internet videos, Genie can develop a broader understanding of the world and apply this knowledge to various tasks, much like how humans learn from their experiences. Genie and the Realization of AGI No doubt, Genie represents a big leap towards creating artificial general intelligence, AGI, and I will tell you why. Even though it's still in the early stages, the potential of this technology is huge. As we move forward with Genie 2 and Genie 3, we're likely to see improvements in resolution and complexity, similar to how large language models have grown exponentially over time. With 11 billion parameters, Genie isn't just another AI tool. It serves as a foundational world model, setting the stage for AGI. This year could mark the beginning of a new era where world models become crucial for achieving AGI. Genie allows us to create virtual worlds that can be controlled through actions triggered by text, images, or sketches. This has never been seen before. Genie's capability to generate playable worlds from different inputs, such as hand-drawn sketches and real-life photos, is revolutionary. It shows that AI is becoming better at understanding diverse environments, a key aspect for achieving AGI. World models represent a major shift in AI development. They act as AI brains by trying to replicate real-world rules and behaviors. By using current input, memories, and potential actions, world models can predict future outcomes, mimicking human learning and cognition. Genie is designed to handle complex 3D environments, which is crucial for moving towards AGI. This means it's not limited to just two-dimensional data. Its versatility allows it to be applied to various settings and simulations, including robotics. But here's the thing. Despite its impressive capabilities, Genie currently runs at a slow pace of one frame per second, FPS, which is far from real applications. However, this challenge is not impossible to overcome. With continued advancements, future versions of Genie are expected to perform better, meeting real-world expectations. Is AGI something we are truly ready to confront? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. For more updates on AI and the future, make sure you are subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.